Hey guys, Rick Hogg with Warhog Tactical, and the next thing I want to talk about is shooting on the move. So again, we've got to make sure that we have a sound foundation to our marksmanship that when we're standing flat-footed, we're still able to make our shots. But there may be the time when we have to actually shoot on the move. So I want to kind of go over that with you guys a little bit. Here's the key thing. So when you're looking at it, really what I need to do is make sure, for me, I put a little more bend in my knees because I want my knees to act as a shock absorber. And then if you think about it, when I normally walk, my toes are facing just like they normally would in that normal direction of travel. A lot of guys kind of do this club foot and other crazy directions. Nope, just walk normally like you would. So let me kind of give you a quick little dry fire demonstration on how our feet are moving. So when I'm here, I've got my pistol out and what I'm gonna do is I've verified that it's clear and I'm just gonna sit there and, and walk my steps. So you notice I've got a better bend in my knees the pistol comes out, I can see if I've got my dot on target, and then I'm just walking like I normally would. And you can see that nice gentle movement keeps that dot right on target. Now, if I had to go backwards, an easy thing to do, what I like to do is just, I'll sit there, I'll bring my pistol down so now it's safe, I can actually look, pivot, turn, and I can come right back to my start point. So again, I'm here, I'm just presenting out, I'm walking, keeping my dot on, and able to make my shots. So what we'll do is we'll go back here, we'll load up, we'll make this thing live fire, make sure you guys get your eyes and ears. So again, when I'm back here, I'm gonna conduct my Warhog administrative load. I draw my pistol out. This gives me a chance to make sure that my dot's good, which it is. I lock my slide to the rear. I secure my magazine. It goes in, slide forward once it's good. Make sure there's a round in the chamber and I sit there and holster. Important thing to do is I wanna sit there and top this number one mag pouch off so I get a fresh mag in there. Now when I'm here, I draw my pistol out, I'm driving out, my sights are aligned. If I want, I can take an initial shot from here. And then once I do, I start to move. And you can see I'm getting my hits on target because my feet or my knees are absorbing that shock and we're just going through. Now I've got to turn and go back, pistol comes back, I turn, step, pivot, and I'm right back ready to go. I drive the pistol out, my sights are on, I can sit there and take my initial. So again, guys, shooting on the move is something that requires a lot of practice. Numerous different ways to do it. When you get home, you can do something like putting a laser on your pistol so now you can walk and go, hey, how much actual movement do I have in that? What can I do to adjust my legs, my knees, so I've got more bend? So that, again, that pistol staying out there and it's not bouncing all over the place. If it's going from top or bottom of that target, what are you doing wrong? And nine times out of 10, it's just how you're walking. So it's just that normal walk where I'm just taking my heel just like I normally would and rolling. It's just like it, my normal walking step. So don't try to add anything to it. Make sure prior to that you're putting the time in, you're practicing just getting that movement down and whether you've got iron sights or a red dot, that those sights are not going from top to bottom of that target and you'll quickly master being able to shoot on the move.